Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we have an exciting announcement of another show that is coming this fall 2022. So we'll be getting Obi-Wan Kenobi, then we'll be getting Andor, which starts in the late summer, and then we get this show, which is pretty sweet. So right off the bat, this one excites me because, well, not just because of the name, but, I mean, the name is a little bit confusing because, well, let me explain. Okay, so Tales of the Jedi is an anthology of original animated shorts, each story featuring Jedi from the prequel era, streaming fall 2022. Now, Tales of the Jedi used to be a comic run by Dark Horse, which, I, in my opinion, was the best comic creators uh, of all time. I, mean, I have my, like, Dark Horse hat and shirt and somewhere in the other room. But Tales of the Jedi was a series that covered many different stories. Uh, mainly a lot of the Old Republic or you know, even before that. But this will be covering prequel era characters. Now this reminds me of one of my favorite runs, which is the dark side. And that used to be a lot of Qui-Gon stories. And of course, if we're gonna be covering prequel characters, which I've already heard that celebration they announced, uh, so they showed some photos of different characters and they showed Dooku and Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, I can't find those photos, I can't post them, but I get, I'm sure they'll be revealed eventually. Now, the interesting part about that is that we'll be getting a backstory to Count Dooku in animation, which is beautiful. If you haven't read the book Dooku Jedi Lost, I think you'd really enjoy it. It goes over a lot of Dooku's trials and tribulations when he was just a little kid in the Jedi Temple, learning from Master Yoda, and you can see how impatient he really was. And then he, you know, advances and he's befriending sifo and kind of the, the whole start of why sifo wanted to create a clone army. It's a pretty interesting book. I would definitely check it out, and it's canon. Okay, so while I'm editing this, more information just came out regarding the show, and it says that actually Liam Neeson will be voicing Qui-Gon Jinn, which is pretty wild. And his son will be voicing a younger Qui-Gon Jinn, as well as Ahsoka will be a predominant uh, character in the show. So Ahsoka Tano is also set to be a major feature of the series, which is unsurprising given her status as a fan favorite. Reports from the panel say that some episodes will deal with Ahsoka's mother, and for the first full 15 minute episode was ever screened at the panel. Though the rest of the world won't get to see the final product until much later on. That's lame. But there's already pictures being shared around on, um, on, on the tweeters. So, I mean, you guys can go check that out if you want. I'm not gonna post them, but they're there. So this is pretty cool, man. We're gonna be getting Liam Neeson actually voicing Qui-Gon Jinn one more time and his son voicing a young Qui-Gon Jinn, which means that we're probably gonna get several episodes on Qui-Gon, uh, older and younger. Maybe him once he finds Anakin, maybe just before Anakin. There's so much rich history with Qui-Gon Jinn. I can't wait to dive into this. He's my ultimate number one favorite Jedi. But of course, overall in Star Wars, probably Anakin Skywalker, right? So I'm excited for the show. I think this is gonna be amazing. I'm stoked that it's coming in the fall, which is very soon, so pretty cool. So Tales of the Jedi was a comic book series, this article says, published by Dark Horse in 93 and 98. While the stories, which are thousands of years before the Skywalker saga, are now considered to be a part of Star Wars Legacy canon, the comics consisted of several distinct chapters. These include Knights of the Old Republic, Freedom Nod Uprising, Dark Lords of the Sith, Sith War, Golden Age of the Sith, Fall of the Sith Empire, and Redemption. It's currently unknown whether the Tales of the Jedi series will directly adapt these arcs or tell original stories. I feel like it's going to tell original stories, but if it does pull from things that we've learned from Count Dooku and, and Qui-Gon Jinn in the past, such as let's say the dark side issue. I would love to see, there was this one part in, especially this one where Qui-Gon is in love with this girl. There's a series where Qui-Gon is in love with this girl named Tall and she's a Jedi. And long story short, spoilers, if you don't, if you want to hear, turn away. She dies, she gets killed on a mission by this terrorist guy. And, and Qui-Gon comes this close to turning to the dark side and taking the guy out. So he spends days wandering the desert and he is like disillusioned, he's hallucinating, he's just like not himself and he just wants to turn to the dark side really, really badly. And in the end, she actually comes to him as a voice in the force and this is sort of, I guess we could say like the first force ghost that we like, that visits Qui-Gon in Legends. But he doesn't really know if it's actually her or if it's just his mind playing tricks. I think it's her. But anyways, this could be like how he like starts off to learn about becoming a force ghost or you know sort of enter that door that realm of learning about that because he sees it's a possibility so that for me is really interesting there's so many different angles they could take on this 
but I am curious to see what characters they cover. I mean, obviously Anakin and Obi-Wan, they could cover Yoda, Mace Windu, I think would be really interesting. We don't know much about him except for the comics um, now. Tales of the Jedi will be the second Star Wars anthology developed for Disney Plus following the release of Star Wars Visions in September 2021. The series, which saw Lucasfilm collaborate with a variety of popular anime studios, sought to capture the galaxy far, far away. While Visions was a hit with critics, fans are mixed on its reinterpretation of Star Wars universe. Well, I think it was pretty dope. I think there were like several episodes that were a little bit funny, a little wonky, but uh, for the most part, I really enjoyed the animation and the overall storytelling. I thought it was very akin to Star Wars. After all, Star Wars is based on Akira Kurosawa movies, so I mean, it's very intertwined with the way of the samurai. So that's it, uh, Tales of the Jedi coming fall 2022. And then after that, I guess, depending how many episodes we get, you know, it takes us into maybe it takes us into February 2023, which is when we get Mando season three, which will be a blast. So I'm excited for this. You know, I was looking for some animated show. I'm just hoping now that they will continue their animated run of the Clone Wars and go in the in-between segments, the in-between seasons and, you know, cover like Son of Dathomir, for example. That's something I would really love to see with Maul. I think that's such a fantastic arc and it's such a cool story uh, and comic run that they, I feel like they would be doing a disservice to fans and themselves and their pockets if they don't actually make that. So anyways, we'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed the news and I'll see you in the next vid. Until then, remember the force will be with you always.